Now these paddle boats aren't exactly easy to pedal alone, but many people here at Tempe Town Lake are definitely taking advantage of it. Government forecasters are calling for a much warmer spring than Phoenix has ever had. Fountain Hills was named best affordable suburb due to its natural beauty, low crime rate, and outdoor activities. According to Valley Metro Light Rail officials, many people have been caught on board without paying for a ticket. Testing experts in Arizona are trying to find new ways to improve the Ames exam, but improvement may make the test harder. You may want to think twice before texting and driving. For some people, it's been a real nightmare. I'm an adult. I think that I should be able to make my own decisions, and now I have a lot against that. Being forced to go outside to light up. But now, there might be a little relief for the folks who just can't handle giving up their smokes. It's called Enjoy, a rechargeable cigarette that runs on batteries. The reason why people are turning to electronic cigarettes is because of the economics of it and the ease of it. A, if I'm a smoker, I can't smoke in my favorite places. With the e-cigarette, I can. Shirley Goldman, who was a smoker for 50 years, learned what Enjoy was from the internet. She is now an independent seller for Enjoy and says she would never go back to a real cigarette again. I smoke it at bars. I smoke it in restaurants. The thing is, this actually looks real, even down to the secondhand smoke coming off the end. But in reality, it just looks like smoke. It's actually water vapor. But are they allowed in bars? The law only pertains to those items that are tobacco containing. So in reality, these products are not subject to the law. We were given freedom back to the smoker to be able to smoke anytime, any place, anywhere. A freedom that satisfied a habit that Shirley Goldman had for 50 years. In Phoenix, I'm Danielle Gidry for Cronkite Newswatch. Technically, they are called survivors. But often, children who make it out alive after a near drowning are left to live life in a persistent vegetative state. It's heartbreaking. A 10-year-old valley boy who almost drowned five years ago lays motionless. A tube that helps him breathe and eat are the only things keeping him alive today. Dr. Melissa Panel says it's 24-hour care every day. They aren't able to talk to you. They barely respond to pain. They don't show any emotion. John Harrington deals with his emotions every day after he lost his son Rex to a backyard pool accident years ago. There is nothing more devastating to a parent than to lose a child. Knowing many children are left in a vegetative state, the Phoenix man in some ways considers himself one of the lucky ones. I feel fortunate that Rex passed away. Um, I personally don't know how I would deal with a near drowning. According to the Centers for Disease Control, six people drown in U.S. pools every day. Duran Letter lost her son 10 years ago. She was one parent who thought she had done everything right. This could never happen to us, ever. You know, we, we watch our children, they know how to swim, you know, Tom's a fireman, we have locks on our doors, we have an alarm, we have everything that we should have had. But not enough to keep three-year-old Weston, who was a great little swimmer, from drowning in the backyard pool. According to Letter, a pool fence is the cheaper and more effective way that's proven to protect and keep a child away from the water. It cost us $12,000 to bury my son, which is three or four pool fences, and there's nothing uglier than seeing your child in a casket. Today, all Letter has are the memories and a locket around her neck that helped tell her story of her little boy named Rex. In Phoenix, I'm Danielle Gidry for Cronkite Newswatch.